The trust technique I have a dream day is a one day event that teaches individuals how to have a very deep trusting relationship with their own animals. But it's not all just about the one day because we go a few days beforehand to every center that we work from and really work with the animals and teach the staff. And here is the story of this event. We deliver a non-thinking, peaceful feeling of mindfulness to an animal. And Atos, when he first felt this, had to release quite a lot of boy energy. And then he could really relax into the new connection. He responded so well. When you're ready. When it came to day three, we could take this authentic connection and do something very natural with it. Once you've drawn the line, you can just get present so that it all makes sense to him. The trust technique is not just about making animals peaceful in our presence. We can also, once we've done this, start working with what we call trusted cooperation. And trusted cooperation is an intuitive connection between the animal and the person. And this we took forward to the actual day itself. And the first part was just to have Atos follow me. And then, of course, we were going to see if we could take it a little bit further. Off you go again. So the idea here is that we can have a calm enough mind to really listen just on an intuitive level. And considering he hasn't done much, I think that's amazing. It was a real honour for me to have the trust of both Mary Joy and Atos. Come straight down the middle, Mary Joy. Imagine your line down the middle. Now imagine it over to the right. The reference to the line is a specific visual communication that we created for both of them. Amazing. Really good boy, well done. Okay, still. When the animal's mind is peaceful, and so is the human's, when the human has a thought, the animal can easily pick up on that intent. Are you imagining the line? There it is. Good boy. There we go. Come on then, you're going to do one, one more line. If he doesn't, you're just going to get present until he feels it. That's the one. No aids, just the line. Right down, right to the corner. Right down. Keep the line going. If he stops, get present. There it is. And then turning. Beautiful. If he stops, get present. Imagine the line. This is a demonstration of connection rather than control. And considering Mary Joy, the founder of the center, and Atos, it's their third session. They've done amazing. This is Numba. She's another one of the seven Kamag horses here at Wormwood Scrubs Pony Center. And she's a very different case. She received a lot of abuse in her past, and she finds it hard to trust people. Actually, she can be quite fear defensive. So even working with the present moment, we have to go at her pace. Helping her to find the present moment with a human will potentially bring up issues from the past. We are also joined by Mona, which is one of our diploma practitioners, who's going to be taking forward this work and really helping number through this. And on our first session, it was quite apparent to me that she has had her boundaries overstepped. Now, on day three, we did actually have enough trust for her to allow me to join her when she was lying down, which was a great step. When an animal shows this defensive behavior, there is a misunderstanding that you need to put a boundary on them, when actually it was the boundary that caused the problem in the first place. What she really needs is somebody to understand her and to be non-reactive. 
when it did come to the day, it was a great opportunity because there were a lot of people on the I Have a Dream Day. When we reduce an animal's mind in an environment that they may not trust, it allows them to see it through soft eyes. This changes their perspective. We call it realization learning because literally the animal realizes their own learning. You can see I'm coming out a little bit because I can see she's gone into process mode. So you see her mind coming down. I'm saying be peaceful with people. I couldn't have a more clear description of be peaceful with people. Look how many of you there are. I mean, how cool of communication is it for this particular horse? Present. And the douche is soft. Number really struggles when she's asked to do things, so I'm gently asking her to lift her leg so she lifts it for me. But even when she does that, she has to try and bite herself and then hold on to the rope as she expresses her anxiety. Not every issue can be resolved in four days, and we're looking forward to supporting the staff to truly help her let go of her anxiety. This is Seth, and this is Seth's day one, and he's very sensitive with the halter. And the first day was very gently working with him. We never pressurize any animal. We work with something called mindful regard, which is working at their pace and working in a trusting environment to show them that what they were afraid of, they don't need to be. And then this is our day two. It looks like a very slow progression, but by working at an animal's pace, it is one of the fastest ways to truly help them. Stay still. Well done. Good boy, that's lovely. Really, really lovely. We train staff members because it would be irresponsible for us to come in and help an animal without educating the people around the animals on what we were doing and how to take it further. And this is David. He is so committed to Seth that it's incredibly heartwarming. And it was just wonderful to have him as part of this process because of how much he cares for Seth. Well done. well done, that's lovely. Good boy. On day three, we worked out in the paddock. And of course, Seth does not like to be caught. So we showed a way of actually really working with what we call invitation. So we're basically making friends with him without an agenda. There's no halter there. And it's working in a way where he actually asks for the attention so that we can break that fear cycle for him. And on the event itself, I let David demonstrate. He's looking to put his nose in the halter. <laughs> working with this method, there's no reason why you can't take it way beyond what's normally acceptable. At the moment, he's getting present, waiting for the connection between him and Seth. There it is. Wow. <laughs> David, how are you feeling? <laughs> I do hope you've enjoyed this insight to the work that Shelley and I do for an I Have a Dream Day, not just for the animals on the day, but the animals beforehand, the staff members, and the centre itself. We would like to thank Mary Joy and her wonderful team, and all those who attended the day itself. We hold the I Have a Dream Days worldwide. If you'd like to see more like this, please do leave a comment, like it, and share it, and we'll be delighted to give our insights of the centres that we're helping worldwide.